Hi, this is Ajit Yadav and today's video we are going to create a quick explosion using the particle system into the blender. So open the blender and delete all these things uh, from the viewport and I'm going to add a mass here uh, about plane and from this we have to create the particle systems. Go to the particle property here and add a new particle. Now, um, because first of first, I'm going to set the first frame and the end frame. I'm going with 30 frame only because I want to give uh, just a simple idea to create an explosion here. So, the particles, number of the particle is 1000. It's set it by default. And uh, for now, I'm leaving uh, that number. And uh, the, the frame first, from wh where you want to start your explosion, from which uh, frame. Then I'm going with first frame and yeah, I will end it up to five frame and the lifetime also I want for the particle lifetime also I'm going with five frames okay and now go to the uh, velocity tab here and the normalization value uh, I'm going to put here eight meter per second and the randomization also I'm going with five um, so it will randomize the things and uh, the explosion will look like more realistic okay and because this i want uh, the explosion should happen in z axis and going some up side kind of thing so i will put some value here for the z axis for example here i'm going with eight meter per second and now when you'll hit to play this video and your video the particles for the plane will behave something like this and i think this this is pretty nice for me uh, but if you want you can change some more settings here you can play around with gravity forces and a lot of things to play here so I'm uh, the select the plane here and go to the object um, go to the quick effect and add a quick smoke here okay so it will add uh, the domain and the flow object now uh, play around with the domain box here and set up uh, to size of your uh, particle system okay hit s to make it a little bigger and z uh, to adjust uh, in a z axis okay uh, somewhere here somewhere here okay that's great and i think that's that's fine um, but i'm going to increase more for Z axis. Ah, oh, I think and play this video again. I think that's great, right? And uh, select. Make sure that you have selected already the domain or this box kind of thing, and go to the physics property here. As you already can see, the fluid uh, is already have selected because we have choose here a uh, quick smoke so um this, uh, this the, the box is already uh, by default selected as a domain the fluid type and domain type i should guess because we are going to create an explosion here and the resolution division uh, i'm leaving here for now we will discuss later about it because this is important thing here um, and uh, one more thing uh, go to the smoke settings here you can change some vertosity like for example don't go with higher value uh, for me I, I i choose every time one 0 0.01 and that is crazy as well and the heatness of the smoke so if you are creating explosion then this is the most important uh, thing that you have to choose uh, some higher number of the heat value for your smoke then it will look more realistic okay so I'm going 1.5 and you can play around and do experiment there maybe you can get uh, some nice value for uh, according to your explosive uh, requirement okay go to the fire now if you want and uh, change some settings for now I'm leaving everything by default here and don't click uh, to adaptive domain please because it it will create uh, it will awake the data very quick and very fast but same time adaptive domain uh, will give some unrealistic effect for your uh, fire simulation and explosions okay so i will not recommend you to uh, check mark on adaptive domain but yes if you will click here then everything will be 
for example baking data and everything will be happening quickly so I'm not uh, going to check mark on adaptive domain okay the noise is important if you are creating for your movie uh, this explosion for your movie or short film then I highly recommend you to go with noise as well but here for now I'm leaving it as 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 it is default everything okay go to the viewport here and choose uh, the color mapping okay everything is fine now here. and now go to this flow uh, object that I have selected a plane and I also created the particle system there okay and now uh, as you can see already um, by default everything is selected here um, the flow type is flow okay and the flow type should be smoke plus fire both okay and the flow behavior is inflow and the sampling sub steps means uh, later I can explain about it because this is not such a great thing if you will change the value you can easily understand by yourself why uh, this value what this value is working for there and what affecting is uh, effect is giving to the um, uh, flow uh, that mess okay I'm for now I'm choosing one only because it will stick uh, around this plane only for one value okay and now the important thing is come to everything I'm leaving by default here and come to flow source here and flow source select as a particle system not a mass okay and uh, the particle system particle settings okay and one more thing uh, don't forget to check mark here in ESL velocity and if you want to give the texture then it will uh, create a more realistic effect for now I'm going to create a texture uh, to the cloud here and go to the color give the contrast value where is the contrast yes about the highest value is 5 so give the 5 value here so it will give effect like black and white and now go to the physics tab again and select this texture to your fire okay now everything is fine now come to domain setting again go to the physics tab and I told you I will talking about later on about the resolution division so the number the resolution higher number of the res resolution will make your fire more realistic for example 64 here it will look okay that's fine but if I will create for the short film or for the uh, big budget movie then I will give here around 300 and more resolution division but what's the problem there if I will uh, choose here the highest number of the re resolution division in that case your computer system will be very 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 slow down okay and uh, this will create or this will bake the data for maybe one hour or two hour for 30 frames only okay so I'm leaving everything uh, by default here 64 but if you are creating a great explosion uh, with you then you have to choose here the highest number for the resolution division and now simply I'm cl I'm clicking on wake data and I will skip this video because it will take some time okay so now our data successfully has been baked here and now we now we'll play this video and it is uh, not looking like a fire or explosion or anything so we'll play like a setting here okay we'll play and we'll try to adjust a setting but before that we have to adjust the lighting system so we can see everything what is going on uh, in rendering mode in cycles engine okay so go to the light and add a sun lamp here and a z z for z axis to adjust an upside and give some angle here so it will look uh, more uh, a more dense it dense uh, for dense light sorry okay something like that and now um, change another uh, window here for play around with uh, the uh, shader editor but shader, shader, shader editor not for lighting shader editor remember that this is important shader editor for domain okay this box kind of thing okay and now here you will get about 
uh, two nodes a principal value here volume here and the material output so and uh, now we hit uh, to render render out these things but uh, as you can see there is nothing and uh, you cannot see anything select the light here and uh, change the strength for the light I'm going with 5 because I think sunlight uh, for 5 is better okay and now select the domain again and uh, play around here if, if some uh, um, other node as well so remember that pause my video and what i'm going to add here do the same with your videos first of all the density here i'm uh, the density attribute i'm just uh, um, uh, removing everything from this and your fire will create uh, light no smoke will be behavior like that everything is solid in the inside the box okay don't worry about that and now add a node here um shift a to add a node about 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 volume info okay as you can see here is density but before that uh, you have to add another node about color ramp and another node about math so we can multiply everything okay now remember from the volume info you should not uh, connect uh, to the color ramp factor with color you have to connect with density to the factor and this color to the first value of the math node and add here multiply and this value add to the density okay sorry to the density here density okay and now you can uh, um, Put here some crazy value like 1000 or 100 for me one 100 is enough ah yes I'm going to change the color of the fire something like this okay and I'm going to add some more nodes here for the flame okay because we have already adjust here our smoke um, make it down for a few minutes okay we have already adjust here our smoke and that is uh, great for us now but now i'm going to add here some another nodes to create a flame here. so first of all uh, add attribute node here and um, another is um, about okay um, color ramp now c connect this color from attribute to the factor value and this color to the emission color okay and inside uh, the color ramp add the multiple values for the colors I think three okay three is enough so this one should be black this one should be um, uh, pure red okay and this one should be uh, some orange kind of color orange and the third one should be uh, the yellow so whatever uh, the values is available inside the real fire we are adjusting that thing here and um, increase this black value and make it closer uh, to the red and the orange value as well and this yellow value as well okay yellow more yellow here something like yellows yellows okay and uh, emission strength i want uh, 10 for example here but as you can see nothing is changes here why because inside the attribute this is important thing okay remember this highlightly remember this um uh, inside the uh, attribute you have to type a uh, flame flame f l a m e flame and now as you can see our uh, flame is uh, is crazy okay is uh, giving some effect there and of course a uh, play around with the strength value I'm going with 50 and uh, of course uh, these nodes we have to play around the red suit little far from the black and give some more black effect to your fire and uh, from starting when you go frame by frame to check that effect and, and at the last our, our smoke is completely black so for that to remove that we have to increase the black uh, intensity here black body intensity 
and uh, it will give some more realistic fire effect to inside the smoke there okay and I think everything is fine here and uh, uh, remember these all the nodes here uh, or if you can play around some add some emission node and play with yourself and you will get definitely a nice exper experiment 